Hi, I'm Nick Bergmeier, Extension Wildlife Specialist with Purdue Forestry and Natural Resources. And welcome to another Moment in the Wild with Purdue University. So today I want to introduce you guys to the, the issue of rock stacking. So the first thing you guys might ask yourself is, is how could rock stacking possibly be a problem? Now I primarily work with the Eastern Hellbender, and the Eastern Hellbender is a giant aquatic salamander. It never comes out of the rivers and streams, and from the moment it's an egg to when it's a full-grown adult, they live their entire lives under rocks in the stream. So there's really two issues with, with the rock stacks as far as hellbenders and other aquatic wildlife are concerned. The first is that when you uh, move rocks around in the stream, you really run the risk of, of hurting the hellbenders. Uh, we've, we've gotten multiple reports from, from state parks where they find just dead hellbenders floating downstream, and it's, it's pretty obvious that they've had a crushing injury. And these are usually the adults and the juveniles that they find, but it's, it's really the larvae that are, are especially at risk from this, and they're small, and so you never really see those when you crush them. So, so that's the first issue. And the second issue is that in areas where this is especially common, you're really removing that habitat from the stream. So the hellbenders depend on these rocks. To, they, they spend their whole day under them before they come out at night to look for food. And so you're really removing these rocks and, and removing places for them to hide. And this is especially an issue with the adults because if you move the, the big rocks, usually the rocks you put at the base, uh, those are potential nest rocks for adults. And, and once you pull those out, even if you put them back, uh, they tend to not use them anymore. Uh, it's actually a practice. It used to be that, that biologists would go out in the stream and they would flip rocks to look for hellbenders to get population studies. But they've since realized that moving those rocks around, even if you put them right back, uh, the hellbenders stop using them. So biologists have stopped using that as a survey method. So it's really important not to move these rocks around. And so what we really just ask of you guys is, is if you're playing in the river or stream, uh, in a state park, anywhere where you know there might be hellbenders, or even if there aren't hellbenders, we, we ask that you maybe uh, don't make the rock stacks or you don't make you know, a ton up and down the stream. That way you, you leave those rocks for the wildlife. And that's really it for this Moment in the Wild segment. If, if you guys have any questions about wildlife or, or this topic, uh, please contact a Purdue Extension specialist and, and we'll do our best to answer. Thank you.